In this video, we'll be taking a look at three MLB games happening on September 3rd, 2022. Welcome back to Cash Out Sports. Let's dive right into it. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe and to click the bell icon to get notified as soon as these videos get released so that you have more time to plan out your bets as we provide these videos on a daily basis. I can guarantee that you'll have all the important information that you'll need on these three MLB games after fully watching this video. One more thing before we start, if you would like to gain access to our best exclusive betting picks to take your sports betting journey to the next level, then check out our Patreon in the link down below where we offer anywhere from 1 betting pick a day up to 10 betting picks a day and much more. Now let's get started. Oakland Athletics vs. Baltimore Orioles The Oakland A's and the Baltimore Orioles continue their three-game weekend set in Baltimore on Saturday night. The A's come in with the worst record in the American League as they begin the long, drawn-out process of rebuilding the team's talent pool. Many expected this season to be another rebuilding year for the Orioles, but the team finds itself right in the thick of the American League playoff race with a month to go in the regular season. The Oakland A's have not committed to a pitcher for Saturday, although right-hander Adam Aller is likely to get the starting nod while the Orioles will turn to right-hander Austin Voth. Oakland has been a disaster this season. They are bottom five in the league in runs, hits, home runs, RBI, walks, batting average, OBP, SLG, and OPS. Adam Aller has a 5.66 earned run average, 1.52 WHIP, and a 40-34 Kelvin BB ratio in 17 starts. Opposing batters are hitting .265 against Aller this season. He has not been good this season. The Orioles are fighting for their playoff lives as they try and grab a wild card spot. Austin Voth has allowed three earned runs or less in six straight starts. In those six starts, he allowed two runs or less in five games. Oakland will struggle offensively against Voth and the Orioles' bullpen. Voth is on a nice roll right now. In his last three starts, Voth has put up just three earned and 17.2 combined innings on 10 hits and seven walks. He's a tepid one-to-one -one in that stretch, however, so Voth will need some help from the Baltimore Bats. If he can get it, the O's should have a clear path to a victory here. The Orioles' magic is alive and well as the team continues its playoff push, so the Baltimore Orioles to win and cover the spread as favorites is our full game side pick. Austin Voth has allowed three earned runs or less in six straight starts. In those six starts, he allowed two runs or less in five games. Oakland will struggle offensively against Voth and the Orioles' bullpen. The Athletics are bottom five in the league in runs, hits, home runs, RBI, walks, batting average, OBP, SLG, and OPS. Baltimore has not been anything special on offense this season. They are around the middle of the league in runs, hits, home runs, RBI, strikeouts, SLG, and ops. The Orioles' pitching has been extremely stingy over the better part of the last week. They are 9-1 to to the under in their last 10 games and now face the team with the worst average in baseball. Additionally, Oakland is just 4-6 to to the over in their last 10 games. Expect another low-scoring, well-pitched game in this one and the Orioles to keep their recent roll going. I'm riding this streak out until things change. Under the projected total is our full game total pick. Washington Nationals vs. New York Mets The Washington Nationals play the middle game of a three-game series in the Big Apple Saturday at Citi Field against the New York Mets. Washington is last in the National League East trailing the front-running Mets by 38 half games, while New York holds a three-game lead over the second-place Atlanta Braves. Washington will have left-hander Patrick Corbin on the mound while New York will counter with right-hander Max Scherzer. The Nationals are 4-10 in their last 14 road games and 16-38 in their last 54 overall. The Mets are 6-1 to to in their last seven Saturday games and 5-2 to in their last seven overall. The under is 7-3 to in Nationals' last 10 overall. The under is 4-1 to in Mets' last five overall. The Nationals are 7-19 to in the last 26 meetings in New York and 6-18 to in the last 24 meetings. New York is battling for first place in the National League East, while Washington has a firm grip on last place in the division. The Mets have dominated Washington, winning 18 of the last 24 overall between the two division rivals and winning 19 of the last 26 played at home against Washington. The Nationals have the worst team earned run average in baseball at 5.1 and will have Patrick Corbin on the mound, who has a 6.56 earned run average. Washington has lost each of the four starts that Corbin has made this season versus New York. 
Although the Mets lost Max Scherzer's last start 1-0 to Colorado, the right-hander gave up just one run in seven innings while striking out 11 and walking just one. Patrick Corbin has been arguably the worst pitcher in baseball these last few years, and that includes allowing 31 hits and 17 earned runs in his last 22.1 innings. Corbin is god-awful. Max Scherzer has looked like Max Scherzer, and he's coming off in August where he allowed 33 hits and 12 earned runs in his last 40.2 innings. Scherzer has a 1.66 earned run average and .201 allowed batting average at home. This is a complete pitching mismatch. The New York Mets to win and cover the spread as favorites is our full game side pick. As mentioned previously, Washington has lost each of Patrick Corbin's four starts versus New York this season and in three of the four the total finished under. New York starting pitcher Max Scherzer has an earned run average of only 2.27. The total has finished under in four of New York's last five as well as in eight of the last ten that New York has played at home. The total has finished under in each of Washington's last four played on the road. Under the projected total is our full game total pick. Chicago Cubs vs. St. Louis Cardinals The Chicago Cubs and the St. Louis Cardinals will face off in the second game of the three-game series against one another at Busch Stadium on Saturday night in a National League Central matchup. Chicago will be sending veteran Southpaw Drew Smiley to the mound and is coming off a no decision against the Milwaukee Brewers where he threw six shutout innings and allowed five hits with a walk and two strikeouts. St. Louis is countering with veteran right-hander Adam Wainwright as he did not factor into the decision as he went 6.2 innings and gave up two runs on eight hits with zero walks and four strikeouts. The Cubs are 1-4 in their last five road games and 1-4 in their last five overall. The Cardinals are 35-16 in their last 51 home games and 23-7 in their last 30 overall. The over is 3-0-1 in Cubs' last four overall. The over is 5-2 in Cardinals' last seven overall. The Cubs are 1-4 in the last five meetings in St. Louis and 2-6 in the last eight meetings. Looking at the splits this season for these starting pitchers, Drew Smiley is 4-3 with a 3.48 earned run average in 11 in road games while Adam Wainwright is 5-3 with a 2.15 earned run average in 14 home games this season. These offenses have been on two completely different sides when diving into the last 30 days as the Cardinals are averaging 5.96 runs per game in their last 28 games while the Cubs are scoring 3.97 runs per game in their previous 29 games. The Cardinals have won six of the previous eight games against the Cubs. The St. Louis is also consistently putting up crooked numbers on the offensive side. It's hard to bet against the cards here. Back the better team and take the Redbirds in this contest as they pull away late. So the St. Louis Cardinals to win and cover the spread as favorites is our full game side pick. Chicago entered Friday having seen the under post a 64 to 57 to 10 mark in their 131 games this year. The Cubs are 23rd in the majors entering Friday in runs per game with 4.15 per contest, a number that stays flat at 4.15 runs a game away from Wrigley Field this season. Chicago's average total this season entering Friday was 8.96 runs a game, which climbs slightly to 8.97 runs per game as the road team. St. Louis has seen the over post a 63 to 64 to four mark on the year entering Friday. The Cardinals are tied for third in runs per game on the year and that number trends up slightly to 4.94 runs per game as the home team. St. Louis has an average total of 8.89 runs per game and that drops down to 8.44 runs per game at Busch Stadium. Even with these offenses doing well this season, the pitching has been doing well. Drew Smiley is 3-2 with a 2.03 earned run average with a 1.03 WHIP in his previous seven starts while Adam Wainwright is 3-1 with a 2.31 earned run average and a 1.01 WHIP during that same stretch. Even these bullpens have shown the ability to get some outs as St. Louis is 11th in the sport with a 3.67 bullpen earned run average while Chicago is 24th in the majors with a 4.3 reliever earned run average. The under has hit in 8 of the last 11 games played in St. Louis between these teams. Both starters have been solid and even with the Cubs bullpen struggles, this one likely falls short of the total. Under the projected total is our full game total pick. That's all for now, so if you have any other games you would like reviewed, then leave a comment down below with the game you would like analyze. Subscribe to our channel, leave a like on this video, and we'll get to it as soon as we possibly can. We would also love to hear your opinion on the picks presented to you in this video, whether you agree or disagree with them, so leave a comment down below and do let us know.